let's let's go over the basics of weapons, right? <laughs> let's start. Better. Let us start. Okay. We're gonna talk so about. So I can't break your weapon. We're gonna talk about hit zones. Okay. All right. So what you do is the first thing you do is uh, imagine that I'm wearing a t-shirt and underwear, like tidy whities, right? I don't want to imagine that. So the hit zones are the torso. Eyes, noses, ears, and toes. No, headshots are illegal I just because that. hitting people in the head is bad. It's going to hurt them, and so headshots are illegal. 90% of the games in foam fighting and boffer sports, heads are illegal because uh, unless you want to wear a helmet. So SCA has helmets, and the headshots are illegal, but they pad them really well, and, and that's a huge deal. Um, everywhere where headshots are legal, the, the helmets are very well encouraged or required. Um, so the, the hit zones are torso, which extends from the neck, uh, right here at the collarbone, out to what would be the seam of the t-shirt, kind of that, that top of the shoulder. Uh, and it goes all the way down, and it includes uh, the crotch and the bot, the bottom. Oh, we could get... That's a oh, legal torso I shot. I a it's... cop, because we could get hit in the dick. Yeah, it's a legal a shot. Dick. I don't know if I want to do so this. So remember, anymore. if you pee from it or you poop from it, God, it's a legal kill me shot. In the dick, I'll murder you. Right. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not very nice to hit people in the nuts, but it is a legal kill shot. And if you're a douchebag, as we know, Wheaton's law: don't be a douchebag. Or is it don't be a dick? I don't know. Don't sure. be a dick. Yeah, don't be right. a dick. It's so Will don't Wheaton's follow down. Wheaton's law and hit people in the gonads. So, so that's the, so the that's the torso. Do you wear a cup normally? Um, sometimes. Yeah, I think that's a thing. I that's would a good do. thing. Yeah. yeah. You should wear a cup. Yeah. So that's the torso. Outside of that, outside of that seam, basically, is all arm. All right, okay. on both sides, and then outside of that so torso I is like the shoulder or in the hand. It's on. Right. Okay. So if my hand is out and you hit me in it, right? It is um, his arm. Now, if I'm okay. holding a weapon and you hit me in the hand, the hand is considered a part of the weapon. Okay. Now, this is for safety purposes, so that you don't go around smashing people in the fingers, trying to chop their arms off, because it's, it's a safety concern. Because fingers are very fragile, yeah. and yeah. arms are yeah. not as fragile. Um, it's the same thing with foot on ground, right? Uh, if the foot's on the ground and you hit it, it's considered part of the ground. Because it's also a safety issue, so you don't have a big weapon, and people go around crushing people's toes. So another safety concern. So you just walk around being like. Yeah, I just chop people's feet off. But if the foot's in the air, like I'm jumping or I'm kicking out or something, that's a legal target. That doesn't sound like a thing I'm gonna do. Right. Um, and then we go down to the weapons. Um, so this is what's un called in Dagger here a blue sword. It does one point of damage. So uh, we're all unarmored. Cause so armor in Dagger here adds a point, right? So I, if you have like torso armor, I hit you in the torso, you call armor, and I hit you again and you're dead. So that's kind of that's kind of the, the biggest deal with armor. Um, the like a red weapon like you have, which is a shield breaking weapon, it's most most of your great weapons, they have to be 48 inches and they have to be at least two pounds. So a great weapon will break shields with two solid hits and they will also go through armor. Um, blue weapons do not you have to hit people a couple times. Blue weapons also will never break a shield because it's a single-handed sword. You have to have a, a, a great weapon to break through shields. What's the advantage of having a blue weapon? It's faster. Okay. And they're easy to make. Okay. Also, they're they're light. So the the minimum weight a great weapon has to be is 24 ounces. The minimum weapon, the one minimum this has to be is 12 ounces. So you can make really, really light swords. So what if it's lighter than that? Uh, it's illegal. So you can't like have a dagger? You can, so here's the difference, right? So blue weapons, like slashing, blue is slashing weapons, right? Okay. Um, green is piercing weapons. This is a blue and a green. So piercing weapons don't have a weight limit. So while this is a shield breaking weapon, it has to be 24 ounces. The spear that Stu has is a piercing only weapon you can kind of see it's only padded here, right, on the front. Now, this is courtesy padding. So if he happens to be stabbing people and he, he you know, rub against them, it's not going to hurt them compared to this band shot pull. Get you all clean. Yeah. 
Um, so it's a piercing only weapon. So that weapon has no weight limit, but it also can't break armor unless he puts two hands on the weapon. So he would put two hands and then like stab me with it. Like if I had armor, like stab me right here. Right, if I had armor that go through it because he had two solid hands, it's basically considered an armor breaking strike. Whereas one hand, he was like pool cue in it. Like that's not never gonna break armor, right? Um, so green weapons, so, so a blue weapon does slashing. A green weapon does piercing. And piercing, so blue weapons will hack off limbs. You know, they'll kill people. Uh, green weapons will do piercing. Um, piercing does not kill you by limb death. So if you get, if like, if you get turned in torso, you die. You get hit in the arm and the leg, you die. Two arms is death. So it's two limbs, you bleed out and die, right? But piercing, if you get pierced in the leg, it won't, it won't make you die by limb death. So you can have four pierced limbs and you're a potato. And you basically sit around like this, like, I don't have any, I don't have any arms, I can't do anything. It's pretty silly, but it's basically considered you're maimed and you can't, you can't fight or anything. So this is my battle guitar. It was made by, made for me by my friend Drunken Bob, who lives out in Colorado and does uh, cosplay and does various other foam creations. Um, and it's a legit axe. So if you look at it, this is the handle, and then this is the striking surface. So I can run in on John here and hit him with my guitar. El Kabong! And, uh, and that's how, that's how I, I play people like a bard. I got awfully close to, to Naz, dude. <laughs>